What's up, Internet? This is Colin Liang, aka the Blonde Asian, aka Bruce Liang. So, recently I saw this Hennessy Yaman's videos about how to be a successful artist and how to be a successful black artist. If you're not white, if you're not black, it's your lucky day. So today I'm gonna talk about how to be a successful Asian artist. You don't wanna miss it. As Asians of this long history and rich culture, we really don't deserve like this kid sitting in the very corner of an art lecture room. We don't have to be this self-conscious about ourselves in the art world. And the following is how it should go. So the first principle I'm going to talk about is don't be angry like black people. That's important. So our culture is more about Buddhism, Taoism, and Confucius. It's really more about tolerance and sensitivity. We're more like thinkers, we're more chill. We're trying, I mean, through history, we all solve problems by doing Tai Chi's and yogas. Just like, let it flow, let it go, like, whatever. So, if you, like, do a angry pieces people probably gonna ask you are you being bullied at school recently so don't do that mm, you get the point the second one I'm gonna talk about is don't be ambiguous you may ask me why like Hennessy told me to be ambiguous to be a successful artist but I truly believe that it doesn't have a good long-term impact for you seriously because white people, they think they invented everything. If you're trying to make some ambiguous pieces, trying to challenge white people about their understanding, and they can't possibly understand that, they're gonna say, like, just with, oh, this reminds me of this, this reminds me of that. Um, they're gonna group you into all these Western genres, all these isms, like conceptualism, surrealism, postmodernism. Anyway, it's not even actually an Asian genre. I mean, we're Asians, we make Asian stuff. If we're a group with white people, how do we like st stand out of our groups or like? being defined as an Asian artist. So that's the first reason. Besides, if you have a strong accent or don't actually speak English well, you're gonna have a hard time explaining your ambiguous piece to all these crits and collectors. It's gonna be so awkward and embarrassed. Um, for me, even I saw this thing like in the mar supermarket. It's called like Worcest, Worcest, Wor Wor Worcestershire sauce. I mean, who the fuck invented this word? Like, don't they just want to embarrass me? So, if you truly want to make anything ambiguous, don't make it too ambiguous. It's really not good for you. The third principle I'm gonna talk about is really important. I call it the break back mountain principle. Mm, why? Because it's a successful movie directed by an Asian artist, Asian director, Chink director. So why is he so successful? Um, it's because it's really just contrasty to put these two sensitive rodeo homosexual love stories in this wild west like full of ignorant rednecks, hillbillies and all these, these cattle animals it's just it's really striking and beautiful 
Also, the movie didn't go for all these stereotypes of Asians, like conservative, um, not willing to talk about sex, homosexuality, politics, crimes, and not being so creative. If you just go for these stereotypes, um, you're just too normal. You can't be so special and successful anymore. Even way before the Breakback Mountain movie in the 70s, there's a Japanese director called Oshima. He did a movie called In the Realm of Senses. It's really like super, super graphic and sexualized shit in it, and a lot SM, if you know what I mean. After all, it's truly like really well received in the Europe and especially in France so I'm not trying to like convince you to do the exact same thing but you can figure out like what you're good at what you can put your interest with a twist so take myself for example I love drinking tea and I'm a ceramist so I did this thing a year ago still don't have a name yet maybe just call it um, fuck up hat for now so I all this blood, this fist um, the brain, there's arrow and there's another Scar on the back, it's rotten tits down there. Um, missing one ear this side. So, mm, but on the other hand, it's actually a functional teapot. Um, there's the lid, you can take it off, and water just come out of this. Oh, here you go. So, yeah. Um, a lot of my professor actually like that. So like, I mean, who expected a uh, Asian like s doing being this so hardcore and goth? Hmm. I went went to a lecture last week. Like a guy talked about all this. Oh, he's fascinated about this Chinese super decorative and well painted um, ceramic tiles and bowls plates. I was like, oh, you're boring, you're outdated. So, yeah, I guess you understand what I'm trying to say. Really, do something just out of the box so in conclusion in my opinion in order to be a successful Asian artist um, first don't be angry second don't be too ambiguous then that important break bad mountain principle do something unpredictable and unexpected really you're gonna find your way out that's all I have to say for now. If you have any additional opinions, please leave a comment, let me know. And for a for all these Asian art students, just believe yourself. And you're gonna find your way. Good luck. Bye.